I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the two uh, visitors uh, that are staying with you this week have, uh, have uh, taken off. They've left school. Tonight yes! on World's Strictest Parents. Hurry up! Can military discipline... It's really hard. I don't care. I'm not here to be your buddy. Straighten out these wayward teens. You are a lousy mum. When these tearaways go AWOL... They have fled the jurisdiction. It'll be the toughest week of their lives. Want to play with me? Game on. Sixteen-year-old Thea's clash with her parents for as long as she can remember. I had plans and stuff. You can't just automatically come in and change plans. Thea, what? You're the one that's going away to reflect. Oh, that's okay. what But when her mum remarried seven years ago, things turned even worse. It's all for you. We're doing this all for you so you can reflect and realise that you need to take a look at yourself and the way you've been behaving. I can't wait to go this plan and leave you. Well, that's not a good start, is it? I don't feel like I have any more to offer Thea. She's totally rejected my parenting, any advice I give her, and she considers it to be worthless. You know, at the end of the day, I can say, well, it's her life, but my role as a parent is to instill values in her. I'm 16, I don't think Mum should make my decisions for me. I think that she should let me learn from my mistakes, make my own decisions. With Thea, it's extreme. It's just extreme. Sucky dick. <laughs> she hates when I drink and when I don't come home. I love you! When she's out, she does lack self-control. I think that gets her in a lot of trouble. Go, come on, do it! I like to live my own life and make my own decisions. Thea, I know how drunk you are. You've got all vomit in your hair. Go the fuck away. I like to do what I want when I want and not have anyone to control me. And you what never, you ever, ever try and hurt me down. Face it, you are a lousy fucking mum, OK? You Go away. To... She has a lot of resentment towards me because I raised Thea just alone for nine years. And then she met my stepdad. A good one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Push when you at the top, Lors. I miss how it's just me and her. She's quite hostile and angry towards the rest of the family. You let the dog go, you idiot! What's wrong with you? She doesn't respect her mother or me. I don't need another fucking job! No. I'm doing it! Don't touch me. We've been forced now to give Thea the ultimatum. Live by our rules or go somewhere else because we can't take any more. Thea's travelling companion is 16-year-old Corey from Adelaide. I really hate this bag, it's too fucking heavy. Mum Elizabeth has raised Corey on her own since he was three, and she's finally had enough of his reckless behaviour. The worst things are the phone calls at night time. Yeah, because I think it's the police again. I do worry a lot. I don't really care what my parents think about me. I do what I want in front of them. And if they get pissed off, I don't really care. Right now, it's all about chilling with my mates, what? getting oh, chicks, drinking, smoking, and that's about it. Yeah! He thinks he's invincible. <laughs> His behaviour really makes me very upset. I'll put him in my fucking pocket, Mom! When he's angry, he's intimidating. No, I'm fucking serious! And I'm afraid of all, for myself. I lose it about three or four times a day. Fucking watched it yet? Yeah, I've got a really short fuse. He's abusive verbally and um, emotionally. I wasn't born for this shit. We are living here together. You want a kid? You got him. I don't trust him. I had to call police twice uh, to report him missing, and ended up uh, at, in emergency because he overdosed. I took LSD. Everything around me was just full on, and I thought I was going to die. It was pretty scary to see him, you know, to see him like that. If he continues on that path, uh, it's gonna get only worse. It's, uh, it's no way of turning back. No, love you. Bye. Have a good trip. Mm. I'm proud of you for going, all right? I really um, am. I'm pr so proud okay. of you for going. Yeah. 
The teens are on their way to the small town of Port Lavaca, Texas. Here, military-style discipline will be part of everyday life when they join the Simons family. We're not afraid of being stern with our children at all. They answer to us. Mm, it's not the other way around. Laval Simons has served 15 years as a Special Forces soldier. His wife, Jennifer, is a former Army nurse. Their kids, 17-year-old Mariah and 14-year-old Marlon, must be up at dawn every day. When they get up, they have to work. When they come home, they have to work, and they have to work on the weekends. If you can't pull your weight, you know, I'm going to put a boot in your butt. Come get that hay up in there. Sir. Our kids always say, yes, sir, and no, sir. When adults speak, they need to listen. The Simon's hard line approach applies to school as well. With my grades, I have to keep an A, B average. C's are not acceptable at all. I was getting some really bad grades, and they took my phone, my laptop, and my iPod. There's no more internet. I've had my makeup and my jewelry taken away. There's no more talking to your friends on the phone. My door taken off. We took the door off, took away all the privacy. I didn't get it back for five months. And that got our attention. That, hey, school is what needs to be focused on. Something tells me it's all going to be a bit of a shock for Corey and Thea. The same rules apply for them as they do my kids. Yes! If you don't like it, <laughs> tough. I don't care. I'm not here to be your buddy. I'm here to be your parent. After 24 hours of traveling, Corey and Thea have finally arrived in Texas. This place looks like a hole. It's really creeps because these towns are like a maze. And shit. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre is filmed to me. It's so oh, shit. Oh my god. If they reckon the town's scary, wait until they meet their new strict parents. For the next seven days, they'll have to live exactly like one of the Simons family. How are you kids? Hi. How's it going? Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Grab your bags and let's go in the house. All right, guys. I want to start off with the rules of the house. I just want to let you know what the standards are. Be fair up front, so we're all square on one thing. All right. The first thing is there's no profanity or cussing in the house. I don't tolerate it. It's not allowed. There's no smoking, and there's no drinking of alcohol of any kind. There's also no drugs, strictly forbidden. We expect you to participate in all the chores around the house and at the ranch. If you can't, then you'll lose all your privileges, including electronics. I'll take away your clothes. Our clothes. Lose... Yeah, your clothes. I'll take away your clothes. You'll have one set of clothes. You'll also lose all your privacy. Doors will come off the rooms, and we have lots of labor to get your attention. Uh, you'll be going to school Wednesday through Friday. This high school has a 1% dropout rate, and they don't tolerate anything. Any swearing, yell at a teacher, give them the finger. The cops are going to come in, put the cuffs on you, and haul you away. You go straight to jail. They don't play here. You go straight to jail. Oh, my God. There's no cursing, OK? <laughs> Whatever, right. if we get caught swearing, they send us to jail. Then what happens to us? There is a boot camp here at uh, Kevin High School with two drill instructors. There's a so you have to go to boot camp? Mm -hmm. How long for? Uh, you'll do as many sessions as is needed to keep you from swearing. Are there any questions? As far as Thea goes, I think she was wondering if she could probably push the envelope a little, but I think she quickly realized that the rules were going to be the rules, and I wasn't going to budge. Corey, he's going to be testy, just to see if we're for real, if we're really going to follow through. He seems really, really scary and like he's going to send us to boot camp like he really would do it. I don't want to go to school, though. I just want to go home. I don't like this place at all. <sighs> Straight away, we just get here and I'm going to do fucking housework with a family and shit. Oh, my God, this is going to suck. Bullshit, man. Well, Corey had better get used to it. The Simons have plenty of hard work planned this week. <laughs> With the threat of harsh punishment still fresh, Let's go this way. our teens have decided to muck in. Take the bucket up there, Corey. Swing some on the ground, too. I'm a bit. 
I'm a bit scared, yeah. yeah. I don't want to get my clothes taken away. Do you like having really strict parents? Sometimes it's OK. Do you like having rules like that? What about your next defense? It keeps me out of trouble. I know I'm going to be OK when I have to go out on my own. I can actually survive. Party girl Thea can hardly believe what she's hearing. Does it get boring after a while doing the same thing over and over again? No, I mean, I'm just so used to it. I've did it all my life. Sounds like there's no fun. If you had the chance to, like, take our lives for, like, a week, like we're doing with yours, would you do it? Like, come and get no rules, be able to do whatever you want without, like, us? I mean, I will go hang out with friends and stuff, but I was still, you know, make sure my homework is done and I wouldn't do anything crazy. You yeah. know, get drunk or get high or whatever. The way these kids are brought up, they're brainwashed to thinking whatever their parents make them think. I couldn't stand the way this is like. So boxed in and can't do anything. And the way these teens are used to behaving, they're going to struggle to toe the line. I don't think I'll be able to keep up this nice image. I'll probably get rid of it in a few days. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe at school, you never know. 0600 in Texas. Time to get up. And military dad Laval is giving our Aussie teens their orders before their first day of school. You guys are not only representing yourselves, but you're representing your country, Australia. So do yourselves proud and your country proud, and just you know, do the right thing. I don't want you to have to go to boot camp. Nobody does. Behave or boot camp. Laval's message is pretty clear. But is it getting through? I feel like absolute shit. I haven't been to school since I started the year, so it's like nearly a year, and now I have to go to school. The reason why I dropped out of school was like to get the fuck away from it, and now I'm going back to school, and it's really pissing me off. In this county of Texas, dropping out of school is not an option. It's illegal. So. Whether they like it or not, Corey and Thea will be spending the week at Calhoun High. We are the assistant principals of the high school. It's our job to get you guys uh, ship shape for Calhoun High School. Uh, this is a tobacco-free, drug-free, weapons-free zone. We do not say the F word. We do not say damn or hell at Calhoun High School. In fact, if you are vulgar or disruptive in the hallway, we have a police officer who works for the district, and he will write you a ticket for disorderly conduct by language. The hat is going to have to go while you're in the hallway. We do not allow any kind of head covering inside. We do not allow any piercings, so this is going to have to come out before you go to any of our classes. I'm sorry. OK, you try it. You got it? Hey, there we go. Man wants to go to class. Let's go. Lesson one. And thanks to his eyebrow piercing, Corey's already late for music class. Here's my eyebrow, man. Please. It's going to close up. 229. <laughs> He's already broken two school rules without even trying. And it seems the threats of hard labour, boot camp, and even jail have fallen on deaf ears. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Where's the way out? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going. Hey, you gotta go to class. Do you want to go inside? Huh? That's the way out. Come on, I can't be late. I'm going. We'll just leave, right? You can't do that. Huh? You just ran off. I think they have fled the jurisdiction. Danny and Chris, uh, can y'all beat me out of in front of the school? We're missing a couple of students. I think they went to McDonald's. Yes, sir. We're on our way. Uh, Mr. Simons, this is uh, Mr. White at the high school. I'm one of the assistant principals. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the two uh, visitors uh, that are staying with you this week have uh, have. Uh, taken off. They've left school. If they could get a ticket for curfew violation. So let me see if I can find them. I just wanted to test out the school to see how, like, if they would catch us or not. And I thought and they would catch not. us as soon as we... Yeah. 
I'm amazed, like, it's such a strict school and they haven't got us yet. Give them time, Corey. Give them time. And it's not just a school rule they've broken. It's a Calhoun County law. That means a ticket for curfew violation. And they still have to face their new dad, Laval. Oh my God, he's making us wait, I swear to God. I want to resort to my old army ways and just show them that this is not acceptable behavior. Get up and follow me. Get in the truck. For myself and for the school district here, we take discipline very seriously. And so they have to learn that there's consequences for your actions. It seems like they've gotten away with whatever they wanted to do in the past, and there was no consequences. Welcome to Texas. You wear your rubber boots or your shoes. Put them on. Think this is a game? Think it's funny getting kicked out of school? Making me look like an ass? You want to play with me? Game on. Laval's brought the teens to a farm feed store. Their punishment? Move three tons of feed bags at 22 kilos a bag. This is a technique that I've used in the military. I was a training instructor there. Moving objects from point A to point B that are heavy, that uh, are physically taxing, it's a good challenge. Oh, shit, man. I'm not paying all this shit off. Are you going to help him or not? I won't do any of this shit. OK. Hey, that's cool. Go sit on your butt. I hope you can do a hunger strike for the next seven days, because you're not going to eat a damn thing. You want to be on a hunger strike? Doesn't bother me a bit. I think Thea feels that she can get away with anything, because she's always gotten away with whatever she wanted to do. And now she's going to face the consequences that I'm not going to put up with any of that. I never have and I never will. I do the same with my own kids. I'm there to do what's right and teach them the right things to do. And she's either going to get over this or she's not. That's her choice. He's like, oh, you're not going to eat for seven days being smart. I'm not being smart. Fucking pissed off and agitated. You fucking drive me insane. I just want to get it over and done with, but there's so fucking much of it. Because he mucked up for one day. Fuck, imagine he mucked up for the rest of the week. Mm. Give me a cigarette. I'm going to run the muck and make this guy's hell for the next seven days. Tough words, Thea. But the punishment's not over yet. Remember boot camp? Corey and Thea picked the wrong place to skip class. They were warned Calhoun County has some of the toughest school laws in America. Mess up here and you go to boot camp. Hurry up! You got something that's funny? Uh -huh. No what? I don't know, sir. Well, they've been given every opportunity to succeed, and they've chosen to fail. And so they're going to pay the price for that failure. So y'all got attitude problems or what? I don't know, sir. Then why didn't you stay in school? I don't know why. Why do you think you just get out of school and walk out? Didn't really think it would be this rough at all. Oh, so, you didn't think so? thought this was going to be a joke. No, sir. No, sir? No. Do I look like a sir to you? No, I just don't have a sir. No. How about no, ma'am? Oh, no, ma'am. Drill sergeants Chuck and at? Brandy run the county boot camp for troubled teens. We deal with kids like you every single day. Every day, we deal with attitude. But guess what? They learn quick not to be disrespectful and to do the right thing at all times. And when you don't do the right thing, you have to suffer the consequences. Start running in place. Let's go. Oh, right. Run in place! Oh. Look at me! I freaking run in place! Oh. Get up! You chose to do the wrong thing today, right? Yes, sir. I don't play games. I mean, you come to my boot camp, it, it's, there is no game. You know, you messed up, you did wrong, and you have to pay the price for it. Get on your back, hold your feet up six inches. Six inches! Basically, y'all like disrespecting people, right? No, sir. You don't disrespect your parents back home? Sometimes, sir. Sometimes. Who provides the clothes on your back? 
My mama. Who provides a roof over your head? My mama. And you want to sit there and disrespect her sometimes. You better not put your feet down. You think that your parents deserve to be treated like Get this? Get your feet up! It's really hard. I don't oh, okay. care! When you choose not to do the right thing, that tells me you don't care. So guess what? I don't care. Here so you suck it up! Sure. Get on your feet. Hurry up. Hurry up and move with a purpose! See those little tires right there? Go get them. Hurry up! This ain't your time. This is my time. Hold it over your head. Pick up the tire now! Pick it up! Uh, get the tire up! Get over get here! The tire get up the tire! Get over here! You weren't crying when you started to leave school today. You don't cry. You cry when you disrespect your mom. You cry. No, right? Pick it up. Hurry up. Straighten the air. Now, was it funny today when you disrespected Mr. LaValle at school? No, it was not funny. I don't know if the school district is going to allow you back into school or not. I want to go back to prove myself that I can be a good kid. Yeah, you really? Myself. I'm being dead serious. Do you know how I felt when I had to go to this school and pick you both up and you had a smirk on your face and you thought it was funny? Y'all thought it was funny and cute. Do you think you were a good representation for Australia this morning? No, I'm really, really sorry. Get it up. It's horrible. You ain't getting no sympathy from me. Get it up! I gotta do it. Get up! Nobody told you to stay down. You don't do nothing unless you're told to. You are 16 years old. That's why you got a mom to help guide you through life and put you on that right track. You don't disrespect your parents. You don't disrespect a man who's brought you into his house. I feel so bad about myself. Why, why did I do this, man? Huh? I feel horrible right now. Why? I just feel like a loser. You're not a loser. It's yes, just you got off track. You need to get yourself back on track. Just listen to me and quit talking. You're not a loser. All right? You need to change yourself. Do you know what happens to the kids that go to our boot camp when they don't change? They go to prison. Very bad things happen in prison. Okay, I'm pretty sure your mom's missing you a lot right now. Yeah. But she wants a changed son. She wants that son that she's raised to be good to come back home. You think your mom's proud of the way you've been You understand? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm that bad at home, she probably thinks I won't be cha I won't change at all. To me, this is what I tell my kids. Don't tell me you're going to change. Show me. Actions speak louder than words. You know what that means, right? Words are words, but you put action behind it, and you show somebody that you can change. That's what makes the difference. You understand me? I understand you. Are you sure? Um, I'm sure. Through? Are you sure? Am I getting through to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're a good kid. You're not a loser, OK? What matters is what's in here. That's what matters is who you are. Doesn't matter what your friends think. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. As long as you know in here who you are, that's all that matters. So you're not a loser. Go back in. All right. You did good. You didn't quit. All right. Don't give up and don't quit. Okay. And do not disrespect Mr. Simon or we'll be out here again. You know, what they're trying to say is that this is your chance to take that second chance and go down a different path than what you're headed down, you know? It'll make a difference in your life. Life is hard. Life is tough. But you can't give up. But you can make it easier by making the right choices. OK? Yep. Go in the house and get cleaned up. We feel that these kids have a chance to succeed, but when they do mess up, you have to do some tough love here, because if you didn't care about kids, you wouldn't waste your time doing this. I can't experience that again, man. That was horrible. For me, that's only a one-time one thing, and that's it. I don't want to do that ever again. I hate big kid. I didn't like them yelling at us, telling us what to do. Just want to go home. Both teens are broken. But has boot camp changed them, or has it only made things worse? Our rebellious Aussie teenagers are housebound in Texas. Girls, it's time to get up. They've been kicked out of school. Let's go, kiss. Six o'clock. But that doesn't mean a day off. 
sick of doing all these fuckers' work and not getting paid for it. Because I left school, so now I get punishment for the next two days. This morning, the Simons have a big test in store for Corey and Thea. Jennifer and I have to go to town, so we're going to give you guys some responsibility to do some things. So we've made two lists, one for the girls and one for the boys. I'm not asking you two guys to do anything that I haven't done when I was a kid or that my kids haven't done here for many, many times. Normally, me and Mom have to do this all by ourselves. So yeah. we got it pretty easy. Let's hit it. Good deal. They have a long list of chores to tick off. But while the cat's away, will our teens play? If Thea and Corey wouldn't do their work, or they just completely refuse to do anything, I would do the same as I did with my brother, and I would just call my parents and tell them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for Corey. He's decided to knuckle down. Yeah, I'll take it out. I just don't want to waste a day. I can't be naughty, because I also get sent to boot camp, and I don't want that. As for Thea, let's just say she's tempting fate. They told us to work, and as soon as they leave, she just wants to play. It's kind of annoying, actually. Do you guys have a vacuum? Like, it's not sure easy to just vacuum it. Yeah, we have a vacuum. Do you use a vacuum? Sometimes. So why can't these kids do something fun like they're so bound? They've gone to school all week, they've done all their chores after school. I'd rather beat my mum's. So I hate this place. Thanks to the rest of the teens, most of the jobs are nearly done. But Thea's laziness hasn't gone unnoticed. I think Thea, she's on the edge of trying to test me, but she's afraid to because she's seen already she's not going to get away with it. But she's not really gotten into the flow of things like she should have. Come on, Jiggies. Maybe the last job on the list will help Thea get into the flow of things. They have to turn these chickens into dinner. I'm not going to catch this chicken. Corey's not exactly a natural, but at least he's doing better than Thea. Corey, he's good to go. He's got his attitude right. But I think he's ready for a new start. <laughs> Pretty good job there, guys. Laval is an all right guy. He just says good work all the time, which makes me feel good. And the better you are, the more he respects you, and the more I respect him as well. Thea, on the other hand, has decided she's had enough. <laughs> so scary. It's time to suck it up, girl. We're butchering. We're not playing games. We have know that big, tough, nothing bothers me. I'm so against chewing animals. So you got to make up your mind here. You can be part of the team or not part of the team. Deep breath. Blow it out. Let it go. Come on. What you going to do is be tough. Don't be thinking, like, oh, girl, I can't do this. <sighs> OK. There you go. That him. Got it? Got it? Hold on to it. No drama. Dump it in there. Finally, Thea's given in. Oh, my god. I'm so tired of vegetarian after look, this. Look, give him a little wash. It'll be easier to pluck out. Let's pull him up. Bring him over here, Roll it around. Yep. I know she can do it better. She's just playing the game. But at least we've got her doing it. You can never live this life. I love my own life. I miss it so much. God, I want to go home. Thea's starting to think things aren't so bad back in Nowra. It's what her mum's been trying to tell her all along. Dear Thea, it can't be easy to travel so quickly from one lifestyle to another, especially when you're accustomed to doing whatever you want, when you want. I'm hoping this trip makes you realise that you have more potential than being a homeless, sentient youth, and that the experience kickstarts a new life for you. One where you stay home on weeknights, wake up early to attend school or a job, and looking after your health and wellbeing. The decision to remain at home as part of our family is now yours. I remember a time when you were three years old and I took you climbing up a rocky cliff face at Point Lonsdale Beach. You scared me by climbing way up ahead of me and then you turned around and shouted, Mum, I love this. I'm going to tell the whole world. You were elated and you weren't breaking any rules. Wouldn't you just love to feel like that more often? 
When you set yourself goals, think of the little girl on the cliff face and don't let her down. I will offer you my support when you need it, no matter where you live, from mother to daughter. I always wish you the best. Good luck for the rest of the trip. Make yourself proud, love, Mum. I wish that things were different between me and my mum. You know, ever since I remember, I've always fought with my mum. I don't know why. I didn't want anything to do with her, and now I'm over here. It's shocked me that all of a sudden I'm missing her. Thea's problems with her mum are a painful reminder for Jennifer. Hey, Thea. What are you doing? She had a rocky relationship with her own mother. Uh, when I was 16, I left home basically because I had a very strict mom. Didn't have a relationship with her. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get out. And when I got out, I learned a lot. I learned the hard way. And, you know, now that my mom's passed away, it's hard for me to think that I lost that relationship. It's hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I have a relationship with Mariah, but seeing, seeing you and knowing that you're having that, that difficulty with your mom, that's, that touches me. It's got to be something that you really want, right? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. And I think that you do want it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> I think Thea's kind of got a wall up. And she's wanting to open up, but she was afraid to. She has a lot of anger toward her mom, and she doesn't know how to overcome that or deal with that. If Thea can't overcome her anger, it'll be a rocky reunion when she returns home in just three days' time. It's nearing the end of our teenager's stay in Texas. We are the fire starters. And the Simons still aren't convinced their tough love approach is getting through to Thea. Either one of you know how to drive? Drive? Yeah. Yeah, I can drive. Can you pull the truck up? But enforcing disciplines not all of our learnt in the military. Suddenly, oh, go. gosh. I think with Thea, I want to give her more responsibility. You have to give people opportunities and let them try and excel. You throw them enough rope, they're either gonna hang themselves or they're gonna take it and do something with it. Okay, back it up. Turn your wheel just a little bit that way. There you go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. God. Oh god. Am I in trouble, Lavelle? No. Really? The only way you're going to learn to drive is if you drive. The only way you're going to learn is if you make mistakes. If you ever make, if you ever make any mistakes, how are you going to learn? You're not going to. Right. So. OK. Awesome. Yeah, there's no reason to be angry for what you did. The only way you're going to learn is by trial and error, and you're going to make mistakes. That's just part of the deal. You take your lumps and keep on trucking, you know? I expected to like get yelled at or lose my clothes or get some sort of punishment, but I didn't. It was great. I'm starting to like this place. I hated it before. I really hated it. I really wanted to go home. Now I'm starting to like it. Thea's not the only one settling into the Texan way of life. Okay, Corey, Vander, come on. For 16-year-old Corey. Ah, oh, it's hard. Come on, man. Man. Be a man. His stay with the Simons family is about more than just hard work. Laval is my good role model to me. I like the way he's teaching me to do new things. Do it again. You're right on that. I don't know why, but I connect to him really well. You can work it back and forth. It kind of feels like he's my dad. Laval. See? Yep. Sweet. Damn, I'm about to hire you on regular, boy. <laughs> well, I've never really had a dad before. My father left when I was around three years old, so I don't remember me even being with him when I was young. Just push hard now, don't smear it. Right, there you go. Rotate down, down. I think for most young men, they need to have some type of role model or a man around so that they can emulate and have someone to relate to. You know, you can see a real change in Corey. His whole attitude has changed 180 degrees. Got her, point it. I think he appreciates having a man to be around and guide him and show him what to do and say, this is right, this is wrong. 
and that there's consequences now for your actions. Corey seems to be heading in the right direction, but he still needs to heal the relationship with his mum. Dear Corey, it's really empty at home without you here. At least I know you're safe, unlike during the past year when you've stayed away for ages without letting me know where you were. I know it's hard to be a teenager. I was one myself. That's why I try to talk to you about the sorts of danger you might come across in search of who you are. I remember when I was called out to the hospital emergency department because you overdosed on hard drugs. Believe me, at that moment my heart broke. I felt that I'd lost my child that I loved so much. I can no longer stand by and watch you destroy yourself and your future. I love you, Corey, and I'm waiting to see you back with much richer outlook on life. Love you, Mum. I believe she was that pissed off and upset. It was hard for her, and I never seemed to care, I never seemed to realise, and now I do. I wish I could take it all back. I just have to be a better person, because that's how I'm going to get fixed up in life, really. Less talking, more doing, of how told me. It's our teenager's last night with the Simons family. And after a week of strict discipline, Corey and Thea have finally earned a reward. I know what sounds like. <laughs> Uh, another You're dangerous. <laughs> I thought I'd be happy to go home, but I don't really want to go. I'm having fun here. I'm surprised. I feel a lot different. And I just feel like I have more respect for people around me, and especially for my mum. <laughs> Thea was tough. She, I, I really didn't think that she would turn around, but I think she has made a positive change in her life. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <laughs> About three days after being here, I realised that I had to get out of all that mess and I had to start over somewhere, and this was a really good place to start over. It's just been like night and day with Corey, a total transformation. I think he's well on the way to being a good young man if he can stay the course. It's a wonderful feeling to know that you can change somebody's life to better themselves. Because I know everybody has good in them. A lot of times it takes somebody from a different point of view to get them to open their minds and, and learn something in a different light. For the first time in a long time, both our teens are positive about their future. But will their parents see the change? After their week-long stay with strict parents in Texas, Corey and Thea are getting ready to go home. Um, I'm feeling quite excited to go back to Adelaide. I'm going to miss the family. Lavelle, I think, pretty much saved me. He's, like, taught me so much stuff. He is, like, a hero to me. Now I know, now I think it's just ridiculous how I was acting, my choices, what I was making. I feel a lot better about myself and more like I can make a difference in my life. Good. Good deal. Nice meeting you. Good luck. Good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> when you get there, find somebody like, like myself to help yep. you out. All right? Will do. <laughs> yeah, just remember we'll miss them because they're both good kids. I think they've learned that respect is a two-way <laughs> street. And so in order to get respect, you have to give respect. Be good. OK, let's load up. I think what allowed these kids to change was realizing that you don't have to lose your individuality to be part of a team. Okay. Bye. Bye, Mom. For us, it makes us feel good that we've impacted these kids' lives, and uh, we hope they come back and see us someday and show us how successful they've become. When I get home, things are going to be different. Once I see Mum, I'll give her a nice big hug, tell her I love her very much, and it'll just be great. I can't wait to do the things that I want to do. 
like, as in get a job straight away. We're quite excited about our future. I'm feeling nervous how his trip went. It is very important for my family to see changes in Corey, so it's better between us. Oh, wow. It's been ages since I've seen you, Mum. <laughs> Tell me all about it. It was great. At the start, it was like horrible. We experienced boot camp. We had to uh, lie on our back while they were yelling at us and like, why do you disrespect your family? Why did you walk out of school? Why do you um, take this as a joke? So, and what stuff? do you think about it? And I'm just like, why am I such an idiot at home? Why am I doing this stuff? But then, as the week progressed, like I just got into it and now I just love it there. Can you look different... happier? Yeah, I am much happier. You are? Yeah. He's so positive and, and happy to see us, and at the same time happy about the experiences he had. Aww. He seems like um, he's going to do well. Mm. Good to have you back. I'm looking forward to a fresh start at home. I want to be able to start things over with my mum and I feel like I'm going to be able to handle situations better and that things will be a lot happier between us in a better relationship. in this, this way. Guess where I went? We went to Texas. Yeah. See ya. See you too. I'm very optimistic about our relationship in the future. I think this is a great start. Up to Los Angeles and then all the way to Texas. As a mother, it is just the best feeling to see her happy and to have grown and changed for the better. I think I'm going to give him my best shot to be a part of the whole family. It'd be worth it to be part of the family again. The one thing I've learned to bring home from the Simons is just the relationship and the respect they all have and how they look out for one another there. I enjoyed it so much. I, didn't, I wish I could do it again.